So now you're going to go and look into the wonderful world of parallel circuits. So at this point, if you're watching this video, you should have already completed Part A series circuits, which means you should have already also submitted your worksheet for that part, which is that C, Discovering Series Circuits worksheet. Now for Part B, we're looking at parallel circuits. So before we start looking at the actual worksheets, let's think about what, and look at what a parallel circuit actually is. So a parallel circuit looks like this. I'll block, block off the other part. It looks like this. There are multiple pathways now. So you can actually watch the little electrons as they're flowing. And when they reach this, this point over here, which is what we call a junction, at that junction, the electrons make a choice. Some of them choose to go down this path, down one branch, and some of them choose to go down the other branch. And what you notice is that for parallel circuits, you have one single resistor down one path and one single resistor down another path. And if you follow those electrons as they keep on going, you'll notice then that they actually rejoin or reunite at this other junction where they continue on back through the battery. So this is what we call a parallel circuit. In other, word, in other words, a parallel circuit is just going to be um, um, a, a, a circuit that allows for multiple paths for the electrons to flow down. So now that we're on, on this track, you're going to click on Part B, which you probably already have since you're watching this video. And under Part B, you're going to want to make sure to open up that D, Discovering Parallel Circuits, on your iPad. Uh, this is the file you're going to be completing um, and then turning in at the end when you're done. So right now you're watching Part 2 of the video, and hopefully you've already downloaded your FET website. So the FET website is the same as last time when you click on it. You're going to be able to click on it, click Download. Um, open up the file when it comes through, and you're going to be able to create then, um, once again, this, this simulation that we're going to be using that's going to look something like this. So let's kind of walk through what this is going to look like. So let me actually open this up real quick. So on this file, you're going to have three more, three different circuits that you're going to be um, entering um, the, the values for on your simulation. So once again, what we have here is um, this is going to be our, our parallel circuit. And then over to the right is going to be our equivalent circuit. So once again, we're going to go over here. And we want to create a 5-volt battery, a 10-ohm resistor, and a 5-ohm resistor. So I'm going to create a 5-volt battery. So I'm going to right-click on that, change that over to 5 volts. 10-ohm. This is already at 10 ohms. And then I'm going to move this guy over to 5 ohms. So in other words, matching my sheet. Um, and on the other side, you're going to go and have the same thing. Now, when you're creating a circuit, so I'm going to have the same battery again. I, I want you to make note of a couple different pieces of this circuit. And I'd strongly encourage you to actually set this circuit up um, exactly as I have on here. Um, notice how there's a battery. And then there's an ammeter right next to your battery. And notice how there's another ammeter down your 10 ohm branch and another ammeter down your 5 ohm branch. So what I'd suggest you actually do is literally create this circuit just as it's written. So you're going to have um, battery ammeter, create this junction, create that pathway up to an ammeter, another resistor, then create another wire. And on the other path, one ammeter, a resistor, and then connect again. On our equivalent circuit, we can see that there's one battery, one resistor, and one ammeter. Okay, so I have my 5 volt batteries, I have my 10 ohm resistor, I have my 5 ohm resistor, and what I want to do is I want this 1.5 amp current to be matched over here by this 0.5. So this 0.5 needs to change. It needs to become 1.5 amps. So if I look over at my resistor and I want my current to get bigger, I want it to be 1.5 amps, I'm going to want to decrease my resistance. So let me decrease it to 5 ohms. Okay, not quite down enough. Let's try another bit. A little closer. Now it's actually a little bit too much. So let's increase the resistance just a little bit more. Doo -doo Notice how when I ended up going and switching this, I actually got 3.33 amp um, ohms. I'm sorry, 3.33 ohms for this resistor. And I have the same battery and the same current reading through that battery. 
So this, these are the values I'm going to want to write down on my actual worksheet. Um, so notice once again, we have our current reading. So that's going to be this current reading here is going to represent the 0.5 that we have on this circuit. This current reading is going to be 1 amp, because that's going to be um, the current down this branch. This current running through our battery is going to be the 1.5 amps. And the same thing over here on our equivalent circuit, we know we had a, um, a current here of B1.5. And you're going to write down your equivalent resistance as being 3.33 um, ohms. The other thing you're going to do for each circuit is use your voltmeter again and go over and take your little voltmeter and find the voltage drop across each of your resistors. So you're going to do this exact same thing. You're going to fill in all the volt, voltage values, all those lines, those blank lines, for all three of these setups. So this setup, number one, number two, number three. And then you're going to see if you can find an equivalent resistance equation. It's a little trickier on this one. So see if you can play around. And then after you're done with this page, so this first page, you're going to go back over here and, and then start to watch the video summary. So after you're done with page one, watch the video summary that's going to talk about word problems. And then you're going to finish up the worksheet and submit it. So um, let me know if you have questions as you go along. But hopefully this will help get you on the right track for parallel circuits and learning about them.